What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Discraft Swarm that just came out. This is supposed to be their new overstable mid-range. We're gonna be comparing it today against the Prodigy MX2, another overstable mid-range that just came out. The numbers on the Swarm are 5304 and the numbers on the MX2 are 5403. So pretty similar numbers there. We got a pretty good headwind here today, so it should be a good test for these discs. We're gonna throw the MX2 first. I don't know why I held up the swarm like it was the MX2. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, MX2 flies pretty good. It's got a nice little straight push with a super dependable fade. I'm expecting this Discraft swarm to be on a whole nother level. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I called it. That thing came out of my hand on hyzer, I probably put it on a little bit of hyzer. I don't know, I feel like I threw that thing flat and it just immediately like, went like that. I don't know, that thing is supreme beef. We're gonna throw it a bit more. I don't think the wind was was really whipping, whipping right there, unfortunately, but I got a special guest, Rodney. He's gonna be throwing this as well. He throws a little bit harder than me, so maybe he can get some turn on this disc. All right, gonna let my boy Rodney throw the MX2 in the swarm. Yeah. All right. Throw the swarm too. <laughs> Dude, that thing is beefy. Yeah. Super beefy. Okay. So kind of what I figured, the swarm is definitely on another level than an MX2. The MX2 kind of flies similarly to my pyro, which makes sense. It's got really similar numbers to the pyro. It's got a nice little forward glide and dependable fade. The swarm on the other hand, is kind of insane which might make my bag because uh it's not as overstable as the zone os which is unthrowable pretty much but it is more overstable than the pyro which is something that i'm looking for we're going to chop these things over on as much anheuser as i can on the forehand Let's see how they fight out mx2 first okay did not get that any height it just kind of died mx2 did not fight out very hard the swarm should fight out a little bit more harder. Let's get it. Let's throw it on a little better. Okay, a little better. You see it fight out. A little nose up too on that one. My boy Rodney's gonna hit him with a with an Anheuser backhand. Rodney whips. All right, MX2 first. All right. Here we go. Big Annie. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. All right, let's see. Wow. Still pretty high. Still pretty high. Clean beef. Okay, let's talk about the side profiles just a little bit. So the MX2 honestly feels kind of like a low profile approach disc. It's called a five speed but uh, really kind of feels like a disc from the A series, maybe in between like an A2, A3, something like that, where the Discraft Swarm is a lot chunkier, a lot thicker rim, feels kind of like a buzz almost, but like a really overstable buzz, if that makes sense. Sort of buzz OS style, but I don't know, it just feels different. I didn't bring a buzz OS out here, so I can't really compare that. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. This is gonna be a short video. These things are super beefy, and uh, there's no point in really me throwing them anymore. You guys know what's gonna happen. It's gonna fight out of whatever you put it in. The MX2 is not quite as overstable as the Swarm. I think the Swarm will probably make the bag just for that utility slot when I feel like the Pyro isn't gonna be overstable enough or my approach to this is gonna be overstable enough. So I think the, the swarm might make the bag just for that. We got one more special guest over here. He's gonna throw the disc for you guys on a chop forehand. Hopefully he'll do a little better than me. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll check it out. All right, which one are you doing first? All right, we're gonna do the Andrew Presnell, what's it called? Swarm. Swarm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it fight out. Love those throws. Beefy boys. Yeah. 